Uh, it was it was surreal, but you know, I just you know did whatever I you know worked on the whole off season, and uh, you know practice with the team and stuff like that. And you know you just got to stay consistent. Uh, you know throughout the process, you know. Football is the ultimate team sport, and uh, you know a lot of plays open up that situation. So you know I was just thank thankful for those plays before that. Uh, from blocking to you know watching my weight, um, you know a lot of route running, uh, you know just a lot of everything. You know just to get better and you know get to this point where now it's like you know I'm here and you know I'm just ready to show the world what what Rico Gattis is about. The biggest impact you make in the red zone there and catching touchdowns and getting, getting some separation like you did? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, that's a problem for anybody. You know, any 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 secondary, because, um, you know, you're always going to have that mismatch. So that's your style. That's your game now going up and just taking it away from somebody. Right? Oh, yeah. I mean, when it's up in there, it's my ball. So that, that's how I look at it. Uh, that's how I was coached. That's how, you know, I always been since I played basketball and stuff. Uh, with rebounds and you know, so I just look at it the, pretty much the same way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's big time. Uh, you know, to go from you know the practice field, you know, being on practice squad a whole year and making plays like that to now, you know, actually doing it, you know, against competition, other competition around the league and stuff. So. Um, you know, it was it was that was a big you know confidence booster. You know, just taking what you take taking what you do um, on the practice field and you know, using it in the game. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Can you describe like how far you've come in like a year if you compare last year at this time to now, just in terms of your familiarity? Uh, I played all my preseason reps like twice, or three times, or four times tonight than what I played last year. So that should tell you something, just the, the progress and the confidence in me uh, going forward, you know, with this team and stuff, you know, and just, you know, being being confident in my ability to, uh, you know, really be a part of this offense. That's why uh, I mean, I could have, you know, um, you know, I was kind of excited whenever we, uh, you know, reserved Christian shut down in Riverside, uh, you know, they had a football team and stuff. So, you know, it's kind of in my mind then, but, you know, I mean, it's kind of hard to, you know, switch to a sport when you, you know, the top 10 in the country and a, another sport. So, you know, I just stuck with basketball and, you know, now I'm here. Rico, talk about your touchdown celebration. How much, how long have you been waiting to do that? Uh, actually, I just came over that this morning. Uh, one of my, one of my, um, my ex AAU teammates, uh, you know, he he, he real famous. He a, he a famous celebrity now, uh, you know, comedian and stuff. And he goes around with this this guy named Dan, and uh, you know, I ended up doing the, the Peter Piper pick a pan. Dan is the man, you know, doing that dance and stuff like that. You know, I watched it this morning. I was like, man, I'm gonna do that when I score tonight. What comedian? Uh, his name uh Nick Nack Patty, like, but uh, he actually used to be my AAU uh basketball teammate. So. Yeah, he real cool. Him and uh, Dan Rue, you know, they real famous. You know, they go around to like all the major celebrities' houses or big businesses and stuff like that, and you know, they get paid to do that. So, uh, Thursday, well, not Thursday, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. Uh, coach, you know, made the decision and stuff like that, and uh, you know, he just told me to go out there and play fast and uh, don't don't you know thank as much. So, you know, I was just really just focusing on. You know, the next play, if something went bad, you know, just focus on the next play and stuff like that. So uh, with that mindset, you know, it helped me just, you know, play fast and, you know, make plays when necessary. You had a lot of first-team reps in OTAs. I mean, Jason would take days off, maintenance days. How big was that for you in this offseason? You just working and getting the first-team stuff? Uh, big. Um, you know, I remember looking at, uh, you know, some of the play, the plays that Jason played, you know, last year. About like six, anywhere from 60 plays to, to 70, 80 plays, you know, a game. So, uh, you know, being able to go out tonight, I think I played like 57 plays and stuff like that uh, as as the wide tight end and stuff. That was, uh, you know, another big confidence builder, uh, you know, just getting in my mind that, you know, I could do this. So, uh, you know, it, it really helped in the OTAs and the mini camp and stuff like that, um, you know, with him sitting out and stuff. Um, 
you know, just me getting that confidence going forward and me just getting reps, you know, a lot of reps and now, you know, taking that to the game time now.